During the 2010 and 2011 school year, seven and eighth grade students at Hunter Elementary School in the Kensington section of Philadelphia worked on an Air Force project to clean up and beautify the neighborhood. There were five parts of the project. First, we worked in partnership with the Cardinal Bavilacqua Community Center to clean up a vacant lot. Second, we partnered with North Gray Neighborhood Project to help maintain and develop some community gardens in the neighborhood. Third, we worked in partnership with North Square Neighborhood Project in the City of Philadelphia Mural Arts Program to help paint a mural in North Square Park. Fourth, we worked with the City of Philadelphia Water Department Streets Sanitation Department to label storm drains in the neighborhood. Finally, we partnered with the Cardinal Bavilacqua Community Center in the City of Philadelphia Streets Sanitation Department to hold a series of the community cleanup days in the neighborhood. The vacant lot at 2543 North Front Street between Cumberland and Huntington used to be covered with rubble and debris from the remains of dilapidated houses. We work in partnership with Cardinal Community Center to remove the debris from the lot, put up a fence around the lot, leveled the top soil, laid down side on the lot to turn it into a gathering place in the community. We will continue to work with the residents to build benches, plant flowers, and paint a mural of the lot. We worked in partnership with the North Square Neighborhood Project and the City of Philadelphia's Mural Art Program to help paint a mural in North Square Park. Mural artist Charles Bourbon took us under his wing and taught us the ins and outs of mural design and painting. We look forward to enjoying the finished product at North Square Park sometimes in the early summer of 2010. We partnered with the Cardinal Bavilacqua Community Center and the City of Philadelphia Streets and Sanitation Department to hold a series of community cleaning up days in the neighborhood. We worked alongside community leaders, block captains, and residents to pick up trash, sweep the streets, and remove graffiti. We work with the City of Philadelphia's Water Department and Streets and Sanitation Department, as well as a partnership for the Delaware Valley Estuary to label storm drains in the neighborhood and educate community residents about the dangers of water pollution. We glue scissors on the concrete outside the storm drains in the neighborhood, warning people that whatever they put in the storm drains goes right to the river. We also pass out flyers to community residents explaining the dangers of water pollution. We look forward to continuing our Air Force project during the 2010-2011 school year. We hope to paint a mural on the front street lot, continue our partnership with community groups in the neighborhood, and convince more hundred students to do their part and take pride in the neighborhood. The more people we have working together, the more power we have to keep our neighborhood strong and beautiful. With your friends over there, they have low spots. It would be awesome. Clean it up. And one of the most important things, guys, is to make a nice straight edge for the grass, okay? okay. Nice straight edge. Work together. Make sure you loosen it up. Oh, 
Um, so how do you feel doing this project? I feel all right, you know, it's not that much to work on, you know, too much kids, too much crowded things. But it's kinda you know, it's kinda good. Yeah. Good? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. What inspires you to do this particular garden? What inspired me to do this garden is that it's in my community and I don't like walking past a dirty garden, I mean, a dirty place without an order. If it's there, we might as well do something for it and help the community. It feels so awesome to be helping people out. So to create a clean environment, even though we have to put a lot of hard work into it. It, it, it really pays off because we were doing it for a good cause. Jose, what are you doing? I'm trying to take these rocks out of this dirt so we can lay the side down. What I'm doing for this project, I'm just cleaning up the um, the lot before we can put aside and make a park here. Yeah. Yeah. Brandon, move. We're trying to um, level out the dirt and then get all the rocks and the glass out so we can lay the side. What are you doing for this project, Rick? What happened? What are you doing for this project? Um, we're just trying to take this, this big tree trunk out. They don't want to come out, so it's a headache. Aiden, what are you doing for this project? I'm doing a lot of stuff, yeah. And we worked with the NSMP, a uh, group of kids over there who kind of gave their ideas of what words were uh, in inspiring to them, which they thought was inspiring in life. And uh, from there we took, uh, we got imagery from those words. So like, maybe if it was love, it was hearts, if it was uh, family, we thought of a tree. Um, this, this mural in this park right now, um, you know, people wanted it to really stand out, you know, so I used a lot of warmer palette, a lot of reds, because, you know, we're surrounded by green, um, lots of trees, lots of grass. So I think it was, uh, you know, people wanted a lot of vibrant colors, um, and that's that's what really I just kind of went for that. Um, we are going to go on a tour of our gardens. We have six gardens within the community. Aside from gardening, we do youth programs, and like I said, I'm seeing a lot of familiar faces right here. Um, we have an after-school program for kindergarten through. 12th grade so we have a middle school program and we're looking for more people to join the middle school program. We partner with the North Square Neighborhood Project to help maintain and develop some of the beautiful community gardens in the neighborhood. These community gardens have been developed over several years by Master Gardener Iris Brown, dozens of community residents and the staff at North Square Neighborhood Project. We worked in partnership with all the stakeholders to clean weed and maintain the gardens during the 2010 growing season. graffiti as their issues. They're currently working with the Archdiocese Community Center in Kensington in an effort to convert a lot into green space for community use. This project includes a mural which will be completed next year. Thank you, Hunter.